Hello. Today we're going to talk about the General Ledger and Financial Reporting System. First off, what is the General Ledger and Financial Reporting System? The General Ledger and Reporting System is a system that includes the processes in place to update General Ledger accounts and prepare reports that summarize results of the organization's activities. The basic activities in the General Ledger and Reporting System are 1. Update the General Ledger 2. Post adjusting entries 3. Prepare financial statements 4. Produce managerial reports Updating the General Ledger Updating the General Ledger consists of posting journal entries from two sources. Summary journal entries of routine transactions from the accounting subsystems and individual journal entries for non-routine transactions from the treasurer. After updating the general ledger, the journal entries are then documented to a file called Journal Voucher. Post-adjusting entries. Adjusting entries originate in the controller's office at the end of each accounting period and after the initial trial balance has been prepared. The trial balance lists the balances for all of the general ledger accounts. There are five types of adjusting entries, accruals, deferrals, estimates, re-evaluations, and error corrections. Journal vouchers for adjusting entries should be stored in the journal voucher file. Once adjusting entries have been recorded, an adjusted trial balance is prepared from the new balances in the general ledger. The adjusted trial balance serves as the input for the next step, preparation of the financial statements. Prepare financial statements. Normal preparation is as followed. Starting with the income statement. Then the closing entries. Then the statement of stakeholders equity. Then the balance sheet. And lastly, the statement of cash flows. Prepare managerial reports. Making managerial reports for internal purposes is the last step for general ledger and financial reporting system. Like verifying the accuracy of the posting process and the budgets for planning and evaluating performance. Reports for budgets and evaluating performance is developed based on responsibility accounting. While financial statements appear electronically in a variety of formats, until recently, disseminating this information was cumbersome and inefficient. The underlying problem has been the lack of standards for identifying the content of data. A growing solution for this problem is Extensible Business Reporting Language XBRL. XBRL is a variant of XML designed specifically to communicate the contents of financial data. XBRL creates tags for each data item much like HTML tags. Two benefits of XBRL. First, organizations can publish their financial statements on time in a format that anyone can use. Secondly, recipients will no longer need to manually re-enter data they acquired electronically making searches for data on the internet more efficient and accurate. Threats in General Ledger and Reporting System There are three threats in the General Ledger and Reporting System. Threat 1, errors in updating the General Ledger and generating reports. Threat 2, loss, alteration, or unauthorized disclosure of data. Threat 3, poor performance. There are three tools slash abilities that can help the management in decision making. These are the balance scorecard, data warehouses, and proper design of graphs of financial data. Balance scorecard, a report that provides a multi-dimensional perspective on organizational performance. It contains measures relating to four perspectives of the organization, namely financial, customer, internal, operations, and innovation and learning. It shows the organization's goals for each of the four dimensions, as well as specific measures of performance in attaining those goals. Data Warehouse A database specifically made to keep large amounts of data, both detailed and summarized. It can be made to a smaller unit for specific functions known as Data Mart. 
Data warehouses and data marts are updated periodically to reflect the results of transactions that have occurred since the last update. They are structured differently than transaction processing databases. Transaction processing databases are designed to minimize redundancy and maximize efficiency of updates. Data warehouses are purposely designed to be redundant in order to maximize query efficiency. Business intelligence is the process of accessing data in a warehouse and using it for strategic decision making. Two basic techniques used in business intelligence are online analytical processing, also known as OLAP, and data mining. Why is it relevant to learn this topic on your future role as CPs? Most companies use systems to control the business. Which is why it is important that we know how to use these systems when we are CPAs, so we can understand the operations happening within and help our company's system be efficient and effective. Knowing the major threats in the general ledger and financial reporting system can help the CPA know what controls to implement to mitigate those threats and make the system efficient and effective for the business. Thanks for watching.